Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Uh, as you may be aware, uh, in Noble Moto, we're all about all things two wheel. Sure, the main focus is motorcycles, but we have a love for bicycles too. And I just picked up a new dirt jumper. I've got a Haro 1.1 Steel Reserve, I believe it's called. Anyways, uh, we're going to do an unboxing and assembly video of this. Um, it's a pretty simple assembly, but uh, yeah. Uh, so let's get right to it. Three. All right, we're up here in front of the bicycle. First things first, have these reflectors on there. As we all know, reflectors are very important for your safety, especially when riding in low light conditions. Oh, got one more on the wheel right here. Of course, we want to check to make sure the torque specifications are right, and that takes a flathead screwdriver. Let me put that in there. And you can take that and turn it to the left. Whoop, and turn it to the left enough. Oh. Nope, these are uh, push pin ones. So uh, now that it's loose, you can take a flathead screwdriver and Check for the proper torque of your reflector. Next, we're going to install the front wheel. All right, so next we're going to install the front wheel. So you're going to back the nuts way off here. You'll see these little tabs here. It's like a washer with a little tab in it. That goes in the eyelet on the fork to help keep it from falling out. Uh, so you'll want to make sure you back the axle nuts way off. Back them way off to about there. Now direction doesn't really really matter but this does have a disc brake hub on it uh, and I don't think these are directional wheels or tires so it probably doesn't matter but we're still going to put the disc brake hub on the same side as the flange. So with those backed way off. I'm going to lift the front of the bike up drop the fork down on there. Hopefully it should drop right on. Once it's dropped in place, we'll make sure it's sitting all the way up in there. Position the washer so that little tab is up into the notch here on the frame. Do that on both sides. 
and we can start to thread the axle nut in there with our fingers. Give it a visual here to make sure the tire is centered in the front axle. And uh, Haro did not give any specs in their owner's manual um, as far as the torque specs, but a quick Google search told me 300 inch pounds, which is about 25 foot pounds. So we are going to torque this to 25 foot pounds. Right there. And then this side. I know a lot of people don't torque these, and that's fine, it's your call. But just giving the specs for anybody who wants them. Now from here, kind of roll it forward right there to where it'll sit, and then we'll install the uh, rear pedals, or the pedals. All right, next step is put the pedals on. Uh, now this is a price point bike, um, but I'm surprised. These are surprisingly nice pedals. I doubt they're sealed bearings, but um, they got nice set screws in them, so should grab pretty well. Uh, and of course, they're labeled L and R, and the threads are different. So we're going to put the L on first, the left one. That takes a six millimeter Allen wrench. So we will be able to thread this in there. Now, left-handed ones is threaded backwards. So it's a left-handed thread, so this will be, in this case, Set up righty tighty, it's gonna be lefty tighty. All right. Now I've got the right Allen wrench socket on there. You can put it in there and torque it. Hold the pedal with my left hand, torque it right there. Oh, almost had it. Apparently, weren't quite there yet. There, torque that one to spin. Now we'll spin the pedal backwards there. Whoops, sorry. And uh, thread this in, and this is a conventional thread, so it's just righty tighty right on that thing. Helps if you turn the wrenches the right way there. I have to hold the rear brake just to. There we go. Rear one's tight. So pretty much you're ready to go ride at that point. Check your rear brakes and see how much play you have in them. Uh, there's a little bit of play in there, so we can adjust that up on the handlebars. All right, come in in five, four, three. All right, the one adjustment we're gonna have to make is there's an awful lot of throw to this brake lever. I know some people like that for uh, manual and wheelies. Uh, it's got a little bit more than I'd like. So all you really do to adjust this, this is your jam nut right here. So back that back off and then thread this out a little bit and it will take up that extra slack in there. Now you don't wanna thread out too much or your brake will start dragging. So give it a pull. Make sure you still have some play there before anything happens. Right about there is good. Then we're just going to take our fingertips. Well, first we're going to hold the actual adjuster there. And we'll just take our fingertips and lock that jam nut in right there. And boom, you're ready to go ride. And of course, you can adjust this on the fly when you're out at the park or on the street or wherever. Boom, that's it. You're ready to go ride. Of course, uh, you know, give it a good once over before you actually go jumping off any ramps on it or anything. Put an Allen wrench on all your bolts. Uh, at least give it a good turn. You don't necessarily kill it. You can look it up online, torque it to spec if you like. But uh, at least give it a light twist to make sure everything's still tight on there. And uh, check your chain tension. Everything was sitting pretty good right out of the box. Uh, other than the small brake adjustment, uh, we were pretty much ready to go ride. So, that's all I got.